What's up guys, so before I start I would like to thank everyone for all the support in the recent days. Our first episode of the series have seriously went nuts. We are now at uh, close to 6000 views on that video. Anyways, I've changed a lot since uh, the last video. I'm going to make these videos a lot shorter and uh, way more interesting. I mean, let's be real, the average time watched on that video is literally under 7 minutes and the video itself is like close to 20 minutes. So obviously I will try my best to make these videos um, uh, shorter and more interesting for you guys. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. By the way, I still got some more CSGO items uh, left from my CSGO training series. Uh, there are like two or three trades uh, which contain CSGO items, so please don't be mad about that. Soon I will upload to only TF2 trades, but yeah, uh, in the first trade of this episode I sold my field tested op dragon lore for 335 CSGO keys pure. He overpaid in keys, so definitely happy about this trade. In the next trade I sold my bayonet ultraviolet for 27 keys pure. This knife was um, worth like 26 keys pure, so at the end he overpaid with keys, so definitely a good trade. Now all of these past trades were pretty good, however if I compare them to this upcoming deal, I mean just look at it yourself. I sold 3 low tier knives, um, the Felchon Stain, the Gut Knife Crimson Web and the Flip Knife Marble Fate for 5 different unusuals. Now let me actually count how much profit I made in this trade. So my Felchon Knife is about 16 keys, my Gut Knife is about 18 keys and the Flip Marble Fate uh, was going for around 70 keys back in that time. So if I count correctly that should equal to around 104 keys pure. Of course he has Go keys, not TF2 keys. Now let's actually count his offer, so the unusual thirst blood with a burning flames effect, that thing was going for 110 keys I think, the unusual searing plasma Hamburg was like 30-ish keys and the searing plasma modest was like 70 keys, uh, the TF logo offensive Fedora was like 30 keys and the last hat which is scorching flames Bakuro's hat uh, was worth like 40-ish keys. Now I think it will all equal to about 290 keys, I'm not sure. So in fact uh, in this trade I made about 190-186 keys of clear profit. This is basically why I've decided to switch between CSGO and TF2 constantly, uh, to get deals like this. I sold pretty much quote unquote uh, worthless knives for close to 300 keys in TF2 items. Well, let's continue. So basically in the following trades I've decided to quick sell all of these unusuals I got for pure keys. The only reason why I've decided to quick sell was to switch to CSGO again so I can get even more trades like this. It didn't take long and I sold my first hat for pure. I sold my Scorching Barcarous hat for 32 keys pure and it actually priced at uh, 33 to 35 keys on backpack.tf. So um, it's not uh, really a quick sell but just a really good deal overall. In the next trade I sold my Statrek M9 Bayonet Marble Fate, my Statrek Bovine Knife Crimson Web and my Corambit uh, Fate and I also added 30 keys pure on top for a factory new Dragon Lore. So obviously when I calculated this earlier it rounded up to about 600 keys pure in the Cisco items. In that time factory new Dragon Lore uh, with uh, the float close to mine was going for about 700 to 800 keys CSGO. So I would say at least 100 and possibly even 200 keys uh, profit in this trade. It didn't take long and I sold my other unusual, the Burning Thirst Blood uh, for 92 keys pure and he also added unusual Nanobala Clava which is also worth like 12 keys pure. So at the end uh, it will run out to about 104 keys pure. Which is not bad considering other people were getting offers of 100 in unusuals for the uh, for the thirst blood. So definitely pretty happy about this trade. In the next trade I quickly sold my USB kill confirmed uh, from CSGO for overpay in TF2 keys. This guy paid 9 TF2 keys for the USB which is worth 7 CSGO keys. It's not really any big profit when I compare it to my other trades, but I will just include it anyways. Uh, so pretty much not long after this trade I got another offer, so someone offered 21 keys pure for my circling logo offensive fedora. And this hat is in fact priced at 24 to 35 keys on backpack.tf, but that price is uh, pretty outdated and in my opinion it could easily be like 25 keys. So I've decided to sell it for 21 at the end. So not long after I sold my Searing Plasma Hamburg for 32 keys pure. And it was selling for around 35 in unusuals in past so I've decided to take this instantly without any consideration. 
And in the next trade I sold my bubbling nanobalaclava, which the guy added on top of his 92 keys pure for my burning thirst blood. But yeah, I sold it quickly for 10 keys on the unusual trade server and I kept on trading. In less than an hour, I sold my Syrian Plasma modest pile of hat for 55 keys pure, which is kinda... I mean, back in that time there were people who were looking for about 65 keys in unusuals and also, not mentioning, there was one guy who was trying to quick sell his modest for even less. So at the end I've decided to take this deal. So after all these quick sells I have currently 263 keys pure in my backpack uh, just out of these uh, low tier knives I sold in a matter of one day. Indeed I lost like 20 keys by quick selling but honestly I had 6 unusuals and uh, 20 keys lost. That's really good in my opinion. So yeah guys in the next episode I will try to sell these uh, keys for some CSGO knife and I will do the same thing over again. I think I will officially quit CSGO trading in the next episode, however the only reason for uh, actually still trading in CSGO is that I still have some CSGO items in it and it gives no sense to quick sell all my CSGO items for TF2 stuff and when I can easily profit on it, you know. So hopefully till the next episode I will sell all my CSGO items for TF2 once and uh, so I can finally start trading in TF2. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching, I'm afraid uh, these are all the trades I had to show you for now, but don't worry, there is still way more to come. Also one more thing, please let me know in the comment section below how much progress uh, did you make in trading. Some people actually told me they made like 100 key profit uh, in few days just because they got so motivated from my videos. Honestly, it feels amazing. So yeah guys, uh, thanks again for all the support, uh, stay tuned for more videos, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video and also feel free to join my Steam group, I will announce everything there. So yeah, I will leave the link in the description so feel free to check that out. But see you guys till the next one.